हेलो बच्चों आई होप आप सब की तैयारी बहुत अच्छे से चल रही है सो इन दिस वीक फार्मा फ्राइडे हम डिस्कस करेंगे अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज पल्मोनरी आर्टरी हाइपरटेंशन एंड आई एम डॉक्टर अंकित सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सर व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय पल्मोनरी आर्टरी हाइपरटेंशन कैन वी से इन पल्मोनरी आर्टरी हाइपर टेंशन देर इज वेजो कंस्ट्रिक्शन ऑफ पल्मोनरी आर्टरी वट डज इट मीन If there is vasoconstriction, can we say the pressure in the pulmonary artery will increase? This is known as PAH, that is pulmonary artery hypertension. Now, what will happen? Can we say the blood from the right part of the heart goes to the lungs? And if there is large pressure in pulmonary artery, the heart has to the right part of the heart has to pump the blood with higher force. so what will happen there is slowly and slowly hypertrophy of the right ventricle which will lead to right heart failure so pulmonary artery hypertension leads to right heart failure which in common terms you call it as cor pulmonal also so what happens why this pulmonary artery hypertension occurs so the basic reason is there is vasoconstriction in pulmonary artery why because the endothelial cells in pulmonary artery they start producing endothelin and endothelin produce vasoconstriction endothelin produce vasoconstriction and there is under production or deficiency of vasodilatory molecule like prostaglandin i2 and nitric oxide normally there is a balance between endothelin and prostaglandin and nitric oxide endothelin causes constriction and prostaglandin i2 and nitric oxide causes vasodilation so the balance shift towards vasoconstriction and hence vasoconstriction causes pulmonary artery hypertension so it's now very simple how to treat pulmonary artery hypertension for the treatment of pulmonary artery hypertension bachche we give vasodilators we have to correct this imbalance so what we will try to do we will block the action of endothelin so the drugs that block endothelin receptors are bosentan embrisentan mesitentan how we can remember it you can see these drugs they end with the word entan entan means endothelin antagonist entan is endothelin antagonist the second thing which we can do is we can increase the level of prostaglandin i2 so how we can do we can give prostaglandin i2 from outside and there are three prostaglandin i2 analogs which have been approved for pulmonary artery hypertension that is tie tie the first drug is triprostinol the second is eloprost and the last one is epoprostinol sir how we can remember these drug you can see all of them they are having prost word in them so these are synthetic formulation of prostaglandin i2 now recently we made a drug which is not a prostaglandin but that drug directly stimulates prostaglandin i2 receptor so prostaglandin i2 receptor we can write like this i2 prostaglandin receptor agonist the drug name is selexi pag how we can remember selexi pag you can see i i means i2 p for prostaglandin ag for agonist so it's a oral drug recently got available and it's a highly costly drug now sir what about nitric oxide how we can promote the action of nitric oxide for that first we must understand how nitric oxide produce vasodilation so if you talk about nitric oxide it's a gas which is produced from endothelial cells it enters into the smooth muscles of blood vessel and produce vasodilation how nitric oxide enters into the smooth muscle and stimulates one enzyme which is a very commonly asked question soluble guanylyl cyclase 
तो नाइट्रिक ऑक्साइड स्टिमुलेट सोल्यूबल ग्वानिल साइक्लेस एंजाइम दिस ग्वानिल साइक्लेस एंजाइम इन टर्न इंक्रीज द लेवल ऑफ साइक्लिक जीएमपी साइक्लिक जीएमपी इन टर्न प्रोड्यूस वेजो डायलेशन सो द मेन मॉलिक्यूल थ्रू नाइट्रिक ऑक्साइड दैट प्रोड्यूस साइक्लिक वेजो डायलेशन इज साइक्लिक जीएमपी एंड साइक्लिक जीएमपी इज प्रोड्यूस फ्रॉम विच एंजाइम सोल्यूबल ग्वानिल साइक्लेस एंजाइम एंड नाइट्रिक ऑक्साइड एक्टिवेट्स दिस सोल्यूबल ग्वानिल साइक्लेस एंजाइम Now what happens after some times that we will discuss. But we have a drug that will directly activate soluble guanyl cyclase. The drug that can activate soluble guanyl cyclase is riosiguat. Sir, how we can remember? Gu, Gu means guanyl cyclase. At says At means activator. We will come back to it. now what happens after some time cyclic gmp which causes vasodilation becomes degraded it is degraded with the help of one enzyme phosphodiesterase 5 enzyme in short form phosphodiesterase 5 let's write it as pde enzyme so can we increase the level of cyclic gmp by giving phosphodiesterase 5 inhibitor if we inhibit this enzyme the level of cyclic gmp increases and the drugs are sildenafil and tadalafil sildenafil comes with the brand name that is vigra so sildenafil apart from used in erectile dysfunction or impotence it is also used in pulmonary artery hypertension The interesting fact is, sildenafil was developed for pulmonary artery hypertension first. Later on, it was approved for erectile dysfunction or impotence. The third thing which we can do in pulmonary artery hypertension, sir, can we give nitric oxide from outside? The answer is yes. We also give continuous nitric oxide inhalation for the treatment of. pulmonary artery hypertension so nitric oxide we can directly give we can activate soluble guanyl cyclase by giving riosiguat and we can inhibit phosphodiesterase 5 enzyme that will increase the level of cyclic gmp that is sildenafil and tadalafil cyclic gmp will produce vasodilation so let's make a summary whatever whatever we have learned till now let's make a summary drugs for pulmonary artery hypertension in nutshell so remember a mnemonic pepsi coca cola so first p stands for prostaglandin i2 analog they will have prost word in them that is triprostinol epoprostinol and eloprost we can easily identify then endothelin antagonist block the receptor of endothelin these drugs they end with the word entan and bosentan indeed is a very frequently asked question bosentan is given in pulmonary artery hypertension other congeners are ambrisentan mesentan then next p stands for phosphodiesterase 5 inhibitor that is sildenafil and tadalafil they will end with the word fil then we have soluble guanyl cyclase activator guanyl means gu gu riosi guat activator means at gu at means riosi guat then we have a synthetic drug that directly stimulates i2 type of prostaglandin receptor agonist so it ends with the word i pag i means i2 type p means prostaglandin ag means agonist we also give continuous nitric oxide inhalation lastly one drug which we have missed is calcium channel blockers calcium channel blockers like amlodipine nifedipine are also used in pulmonary artery hypertension but in a special scenario so what is that special scenario let's see so before that special scenario among these drug which is the most effective drug for pulmonary artery hypertension 
the answer is most effective drug for pulmonary artery hypertension is the first one which we have written that is prostaglandin i2 analog which have prost word in them like triprostinol eloprost and epoprostinol but if the patient is having pulmonary artery hypertension with systemic hypertension systemic means whole body hypertension in that case the drug of choice is calcium channel blockers so this is all you need to know about pulmonary artery hypertension best wishes keep learning always